Because if you let those get too long, yeah, you're going to get an infection. Yeah, exactly, Nick. I, uh, I started worrying about that when the doctor said, no, all right, he said, I can't do that. He said, I have to send you to a... Uh, uh, Are you diabetic? No, uh, um, I'm glad I'm not too, uh, Dr. Nick, because uh, I don't drink no whiskey no more, but uh, I still drink some Copo Five beer. Well, just don't, not too much, right? No, I just need one... Uh, I ain't made me one every other day by drinking 24 ounce can. But that's that I'm being a cook. Where are you from? Sweden, a What are you doing down here? Uh, well, I moved over to Calvary Falls, and um, I like to move because, as I said, Dr. Nick, uh, building I stay in is quiet. Oh, I'm sorry. And, uh, Did you say you were a cook? No, no, I, 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 I no, I, I mean, not a professional cook, but I cook pretty good, you know. But um, when I uh, moved over to Calvary Falls, I liked it because it was just like, uh, 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 when you ride in the hall, you don't hear nobody talking about, I'm going to cut your head off, I'm going to shoot you. You don't hear that. I mean, it's a quiet building and uh, people are. Why, it was that bad in Cleveland where you lived? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I've stayed all over Cleveland. Uh, I mean, then. Um, it just, in a way, it's sort of like maybe the neighborhood, maybe that you might be in. Mm -hmm. uh, but what if you weren't causing any harm? Oh, no, I wouldn't call them. I you sure it wasn't them, the uh, Colt 45? No, uh, <laughs> no. I, I, um, I had that one time. Uh, all the people were uh, picking. I said, man, you better go ahead on. And uh, I took it. I like to not uh, think I have no, no uh, conflicts about my size, but made me think this dude was just picking folks. I'm skinny. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was kind of heavyweight dude. I said, okay, got something for you. Keep on. So when I put it on him, quite naturally I moved. But I moved off. I kind of stayed, uh, uh, I stayed out in South Dubuque. I stayed out in the Indian Hill. I didn't stay down in some nice neighborhoods, but then I didn't stay in some pretty uh, uh, rough neighborhoods too. Mm -hmm. and, um, those neighborhoods that I was in, uh, uh, when you, you know, you ever been living in a building when you go out the, out the door to take your garbage out, you need to take your pistol with you. Well, I was in, I was in, in one of them. You know, uh, I've been in a couple of them like that, but. Uh, I man, lived in Shaker Heights for a while. Oh, yeah. On Larchmere, you know where Oh, that? yeah, I know. My mother stayed around the corner, man. Uh, uh, there's a restaurant there. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 it, it's still there. Larchmere Tavern, I think. Yeah. Man, yeah, you know, because uh, uh, they got the rapid. Yeah, RTA uh, was yeah, right there. Yeah. Uh, but my mother, she stayed around uh, as we go out the back door of the supermarket and walk straight across. We get the 125th, I think, and, yeah. and, and uh, right on the park out. And uh, my mother stayed out there for a little while. And when I stayed out there uh, with her, when she got sick, I stayed out there for um, about three months. And I, um, I started having some problems with some of the people out there. I told my mother, I just said, I'm going to have to get away from this or get into some trouble. It looks like you're in a good area now. Yeah, you know, uh, this here, uh, 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 Dr. Nick, it's a... Uh, it's good anytime you live in a place where when I go in the hall, I don't hear the whole hoop and holler. Mm -hmm. And I'm living in the little bit, you know, I don't hear none of that. And uh, basically, those people, uh, they, uh, they kind of learn the city. Uh, you know, uh, some of them, they get a little uh, eyeball or maybe a little prejudice. I don't know, but, uh, Oh, you know, like, well, how, the, how the ladies doing down here? They hurting you or are you okay? Uh, it's pretty much okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, 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 can I get one of your cards or yeah, something? Yeah, the staff will give you a card. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I know, right? I'm not ready. I say, whoa. It's because I can tell it, but I ain't moving.
hollering about it. I'm just very, very doing it, though. For real, that's a bad thing. Yeah. Hey, it's nice here. Nice to okay. talk to you all day. Okay, and uh, thank you, Dr. Nick. It's good to see you. You too. All right, I'll be back to see you again. file them and make them all straight, okay. make them smooth, and we'll be good to go. It's very important for diabetic patients to seek foot care from a professional to reduce the risk of amputations. If you like this video or you want to see any other interesting videos, you can click on some of these other ones I have posted. And if there's something you would like to see, please drop it in the comments section below.